Good morning, children. Uh, today we will be continuing our block 26, Domains of the Art 2, and we will be completing this block today. We have already covered uh, the last two domains in this do uh, in this part, uh, and now we will be seeing the relationship between the four domains and how we need to protect the biosphere. So we all have already learned about the lithosphere, the hydrosphere, atmosphere, and the biosphere. In today's class, we will be able to explain the relationship between these four domains and also analyze the threats to the biosphere and suggest some measures to protect it. Now, the key words in this lesson will be causes, consequences, hurricane, destruction, natural disaster, reduce, reuse, recycle. Now today we will learn the causes and the consequences of imbalances in the relationship between the domain. Because there is causes then there will be consequences and whenever we, we imbalance the relationship between the domains. Now some of the examples like flooding, earthquake, hurricane, water pollution, air pollution are some of the events that do happen when there are imbalances in the relationship between these domains. Whenever there is a problem between the two domains, this, ki this kind of events or destructions happen nearby us. Now, the flooding is caused by an imbalance between the lithosphere and hydrosphere. How? Uh, whenever there is uh, water is more and the lithosphere, sometimes uh, the flooding happens because of some heavy rain. That is a natural cause. But that also happens because sometimes the lithosphere, the land has not been maintained properly and because of that, there is no proper drainage system. Another way of flooding is sometimes because of some earthquake, some tsunami or some hurricane occurs on the uh, ocean and then the water spills on the earth. So these kind of things always happen with the two domains imbalance, lithosphere and hydrosphere. Now, for example, hurricanes happen when the imbalance of hydrosphere and atmosphere. Atmosphere, when it gets the hot air yeah, and it gets more warmer and it gets spilling and it, 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 it makes the water uh, into a form of a cyclone and then it becomes so big that it f f comes to the shore and it crushes and it makes the water spill on the land and that way also we have uh, flooding flooding we do have but hurricane is more dangerous because the wind is pretty so that that it breaks everything and it uh, destroys most of the thing so you can understand that these things like earthquakes earthquakes happens when the tectonic plates inside the uh, tectonic place i have discussed last time the we have parts of our earth which are plates type when they collide then earthquakes happen so that also and that earthquake also sometimes because of the tectonic plates leads to some kind of cyclone uh, uh, water activity so sometimes in the ocean it brings earthquake then it becomes uh, or some kind of uh, flooding and then it, when it happens in the earth that times destruction happens on the lithosphere so what, what is most important to know is that every domain is interconnected and they they whenever there is an imbalance such thing happens both these events lead to destruction and property life and property and water pollution and air pollution you know very well that they happen most of the time because of the uh, human activities like dumping garbage in water bodies for that water gets polluted and air pollution is because of our cars our factories burning of fuels and so water water pollution happens uh, when the imbalance between biosphere our living condition and hydrosphere when you disturb the water and because of that our living condition get problematic that's water pollution air pollution is biosphere and atmosphere when because of our fuels the atmosphere gets uh, polluted then our life becomes like you can see when there is too much pollution there is problem in breathing so you can understand so all this leads to illness and death of living things Water pollution and air pollution leads to uh, illnesses, disease and death of living things. And hurricane, flooding, earthquake, they bring destruction of life and property. So this, I think you have understood. So all the four domains are interconnected, interdependent. A change on one affects on the others. And the change can be caused by natural factors such as the movement of lithospheric plates which result in tsunami or earthquake and then which causes destruction of life and property. Then human 
activities like causing pollution to the atmosphere which in turn impacts the biosphere. Bios means our living uh, sphere where we live. The living things are there. So the biosphere is affected by all the events. If there is a little effect in the atmosphere, biosphere will get affected. If there is a little effect on atmosphere, biosphere will get affected. If there is a little effect on hydrosphere, biosphere will get affected. So you have to understand the biosphere will be affected by all the domains and all the events that we have discussed. Okay. Now the protecting the biosphere. Why I have choose this both the uh, to finish this lesson today because these are interconnected. So it is good to talk about them. Like now we have understood the four domains connection. When we have understood how important is biosphere, now we need to know why to how to protect the biosphere. The Earth is the home and only planet which support life. So most of the threat of life today are due to human activities. The lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere are all growing more polluted every day. Who is making polluted? We human beings are more being polluted. So we need to think of some ways that we can keep them properly and safe from all this pollution and all this uh, destruction that we cause by building dams by building uh, by big big factories fuels um, water pollution so we need to do that how are we going to do that there are three arts it is mentioned in your book not very heavily but in my pdf i've explained it with examples so you can go through so three r is reduce reuse recycle if we stop reducing the use of our things what we use then we can save more resources reuse sometimes we can reuse our things our clothes our 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 uh, our products our accessories always we don't have to go for buy new when our old one is working or sometimes we can use reuse our old one which you can use it so reuse this way we will be saving the sources and recycle sometimes whatever things are there we don't need to throw them we need to keep them so that we can reuse them in some other form like you have seen uh, sometimes people make uh, uh, plant pots with the help of plastic uh, things so see throwing the plastic in the in the in the drain or in the ocean or wherever they causes pollution they causes a blockage and they are not getting destructed so see Throwing the plastic is a harmful thing, but converting that plastic into some kind of uh, flower pot or some kind of uh, uh, decoration thing is so great because that is going to recycle and going to give us better way and not going to destroy the uh, our atmosphere or biosphere or anything. So I hope you have understood. This is very simple. If you just read once the relation of the four domains and protecting the biosphere, it's half page in 43 and 44 and half page in 45. It's not even a one, it's complete one page lesson, including the both. So it will not take even half an hour to go through. Once you go through, you will understand everything. So complete your S3 in your workbook and complete my learning chart in your content book. Complete PQ question number 7 and 1 in the content book and PQ 8 and 9 in the notebook. See, I have given 2 PQ question, uh, 2 and 1 PQ and 1 AQ exercise question. So, I am not giving any writing question answer in your assignment. You do all this, that's enough. If you have any doubt, please contact me. Thank you. Stay home, stay safe.